What's up guys and welcome to the Grapple Channel. Today we're going to be looking at 10 real people who look just like cartoon characters. These are people who, if you ran across them on the street, you would swear they look exactly like these characters from various cartoons, including Disney, DreamWorks, and others. You guys have probably seen this topic on the web before, but there's just so many people who fit this criteria, you're bound to see something new. But before we get into all of that, please remember to go ahead and click subscribe and turn the bell notification on in order to be notified whenever we have new videos every day. After you've done so, make sure to comment below the video and say that I subscribed so that we can get you in a video showcase at the end of the month for everyone else to see. That's enough stalling on my part, let's go ahead and get right into 10 real people who look just like cartoons. Number 10, Eric Cartman. So South Park is a fairly popular show, maybe a little controversial, but it is at least something that everybody has at least heard of. You'd think that finding a real life equivalent to the rotund, vulgar character would be hard, but as it turns out, here on this bus, there was actually a real life equivalent to Eric Cartman, down to the clothes he's wearing. Between the red jacket, brown pants, and bright blue beanie, it's hard to say that this person wasn't at least trying to look like Eric Cartman. Although with the bright cartoony look of the beanie, I can honestly honestly say that this picture makes him step just a bit shy of the Uncanny Valley. This photo was posted on Reddit in 2012, and it got over 11 million views at the time. So do you guys think this was just a crazy coincidence, or is this guy actually trying to look like Eric Cartman? Number 9, Mario and Luigi. So, I know that originally we said that this list was going to focus on cartoon characters, and Mario and Luigi are video game characters, I hear you screaming from the comment section, but these two characters have appeared in a multitude of cartoons, as well as been referenced in the Wreck-It Ralph series. That's good enough to qualify them for cartoon characters in my book, and if you take a look at this photo, it's hard to argue that these two weren't at least trying to look like Mario and Luigi. They almost look like the depictions from the Super Mario Bros. film, and normally that wouldn't be a compliment, but here it might as well be. Because of the muted colors of their apparel, this one doesn't really step into the uncanny valley the same way that the first picture did. Now as far as this picture goes, there are at least some people who say that this might have been on purpose, but with the muted colors, this was either a very involved cosplay or the best case of happenstance on this list. Number 8, Shrek. So if you aren't familiar with Shrek the movie franchise, you are at least familiar with Shrek the meme. Well, the person we have here is Maurice Tillette, and this guy looks exactly like a real-life Shrek. His stage name was the French Angel, but honestly, from our end, I think we can all agree he looks a bit more like an ogre from this side of the glass. This is definitely not a case of somebody attempting to cosplay Shrek or making themselves look like him, considering that this person actually looked like this in the 1950s. It would be a bit of a stretch to say that this was intentional. Unfortunately, he did die of heart failure in the mid-1950s, but he's become infinite now with the age of the internet. Number seven, Up. So this one would actually be pretty easy to find, considering that the characters in Up are already humanoid to begin with. They don't wear anything incredibly iconic or distinctive to set them apart from anyone else, especially not the old granddad. Here, though, the defining features, unlike Mario and Luigi, aren't the clothes, but the facial structure, and we actually do have one kid's grandpa who looks exactly like the character. Yes, the face is a little more round, and the glasses are too, but aside from that, the resemblance is uncanny. I'd say, aside from the slightly rounder features, the biggest difference between these two is the fact that the main character of Up is usually frowning and doesn't really gain any happiness until the end of the movie, whereas it looks like this guy is the character we saw at the end of the movie. With that big old jolly grin, it's very hard to argue that he's not at least a little happy. Number six, Elsa. So here we have another situation that is definitely coincidence because we actually know the story behind it. So these two girls were walking in the mall and one of them saw the picture of Elsa advertising the DVDs for the movie Frozen. Not only did her friend have the same hairstyle as Elsa, but she was also wearing makeup very close to what Elsa wears in the movie. She asked her friend to stand near the photo of Elsa so that they could take a picture and what do you know, the resemblance isn't just there, it's incredibly similar. I ended up posting it to social media and the picture ended up going incredibly viral due to the uncanny similarities. Between her height, bone structure, makeup, and hairdo, everything seemed to line up just right. After the photo went viral, she started cosplaying Elsa so that everybody could see the resemblance even more. Based on her social media on Twitter, you can honestly say that after this, she's become at least semi-famous for this. Number 5, Peter Griffin. So if you guys have seen Family Guy, then you're no doubt aware of the character Peter Griffin. He has an iconic look due to the fact that he always wears the same green pants, 
pants, white shirt, and, like other cartoon characters, doesn't stray very far away from his distinctive look. Well, here we have an older photograph of a gentleman in a nightclub who looks exactly like Peter Griffin if you were to transplant him into real life. He's wearing the exact same attire, and he's even got the rotund structure as well. Everything looks exactly like the original character, except we can't really tell if he has a double chin or not. Honestly, the quality on the photograph is really low, so it's hard to tell. But what isn't hard to tell is how similar these characters look. The guy's even wearing glasses as well. Everything matches up to a T. Based on the age of the photograph, it could honestly be said that this guy might not even have been doing this during the time that Family Guy had started airing. This might be an older photograph and everything is complete coincidence. But what do you guys think? Number four, we have Ned Flanders. So if you've seen The Simpsons, you've definitely seen Ned Flanders in an episode or two. This is the hyper-Christian character who always annoys Homer Simpson, and he's become a meme in his own right. Well, apparently one guy actually had somebody who looked exactly like Ned Flanders as their neighbor, so much so that one day he decided to dress up in the iconic outfit to see if the similarities were there. And I don't know, what do you guys think? I think this is a perfect transplant of the cartoon character. I don't think that any detail was skimped on here. Well, of course, his skin wasn't yellow, but I don't think anybody wants to legitimately paint their skin yellow to make themselves look like a Simpsons character. I say that, but anime conventions exist. In this scenario, though, the only thing that was actually set up was the iconic clothes. As far as the mustache goes, the glasses, and the hairstyle, this was the person's everyday look. If we ever saw a live-action Simpsons film, this is the guy that I would want playing Ned. At number three, we have Rapunzel. So if you guys have seen the Disney movie Tangled, it's a modern adaptation of the original Rapunzel tale, which most Disney movies are. I mean, come on, even Lion King is a reinterpretation of Hamlet. But here we have a definite modern day equivalent to Rapunzel. This is a character, again, who looks just like a transplant. The difference between this and the other characters on the list is this one was actually planned. Here we actually have a photo from a photo shoot that was supposed to specifically see what Disney characters would look like in real life. Everything about this is created to make herself look like Rapunzel. The only difference, however, is that the hair itself is real. This hair was grown out to look this way. This isn't a weave. Honestly, I can't even begin to imagine the amount of neck problems that came from this. This girl's also a professional model that has tons of followers on Instagram who specifically grew out her hair so that she could one day do this. It was an endeavor that took several years. So while it's not a coincidence like some of the other pictures, it's certainly a commendable effort that goes well and beyond the usual cosplay. Number two, Ratatouille. No, we don't have somebody who looks like the rat from Ratatouille, but honestly, if we were to find somebody who looks like that, it would be an incredibly disturbing coincidence. Instead, no, we have the human main character, and just like with the Elsa example earlier, this guy looks exactly like him. He took the DVD, took a picture of himself near the character because he thought the resemblance was uncanny as well, and lo and behold, here we are. He decided to mimic the facial expression for the actual picture, and it ended up going viral as a result. Now the only thing that we need to complete the picture is him in a chef's outfit with a rat in his hair, trying to pull him in different directions in order to make various recipes. While that doesn't seem like something that would be incredibly pleasant, it would complete the look. But I don't know, maybe he should embrace it and become a world-class chef. And finally, number one, we have Johnny Bravo. And in this example, our real-life comparison is All Might from My Hero Academia. No, just kidding, that would be comparing a cartoon to an anime. Instead, what we have here is a person who looks exactly like Johnny Bravo, or maybe even closer to Albert Wesker. Given the bulging muscles, though, and black shirt, I think we're going to lean a little closer to Johnny Bravo, especially with that standing hair. It doesn't help that Johnny Bravo's character throughout the show is one of a person who's incredibly vain and studly, and this guy is the exact same, especially with him taking a camera selfie with a mirror. Honestly, the best way to represent a character this way is to not only mimic their looks, but also their personality. That isn't all, though. If you look at this guy, he actually buffed up even more after taking this picture, and now we can't say that he looks like Albert Wesker. This is definitely Johnny Bravo. Anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below, and remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. As usual, if you did subscribe, please make sure to let us know in the comment section below so that you can be featured in the shout-out video at the end of the month. Also, make sure to let us know in the comment section below which character you thought was close enough to the cartoon, and on top of that, if there was somebody that we missed, let us know in the comment section as well. But with all that out of the way, this has been your host from Grapple, and we will see you in the next one.